Hello there and welcome back to another video on my channel. There hasn't been a video for a week. I missed the Wolves Wednesday as well for the first time. It's been a really busy week for me personally. And it's also been a really busy week at the club. Wolves, this time last week, looked as if they were parting company with Paul Lambert. And there were names like Ita Karanka being thrown around as being lined up and Marco Silva as well as possible replacements for him. However, I think yesterday or maybe even this morning, uh, Paul Lambert went on Sky Sports News and has said that there's no rift and everything's fine and he's staying. Which either he's lying or he doesn't know or Tim Spears is a terrible reporter. I'm not quite sure of which of the three is the case. The other big news coming out of Molyneux via Instagram, via a live video, which I didn't see. Lots of people did, but it sounds like Helder Costa has announced that he's going to stay at the club. So over the last 24 hours or so, it's turned from being a circus to possibly not as big a circus as we first thought. I don't think it's, the things are as rosy as they could possibly be. I think that lots of things must be going on behind the scenes. Lots of meetings, lots of reviews of the season. And I have also heard from good authority that there has been some sort of falling out as well between some of the coaching staff uh, lower down. People have walked out of training sessions and things like that which have not been reported by the Express and Star or by the club, of course. There's stories of coaches and players being on far higher wages than they should be because they've just gone and asked for them so I don't think all is as well as Fosun make it out to be when they come back and they give these press conferences and they say that oh, everything's fine yeah it's fine there's a lot going on there's a lot that we're not going to know about there's a lot that Tim Spears probably knows that he's not going to report on because of the relationship that he has to keep with the club you know, I just want to reiterate the point that I made at the end of the last video that I made, which is that there are so many clubs that are mismanaged nowadays, and we've got to make sure that our club is not one of them. And the things that are coming out, the circus that it's become almost, is a real negative, negative. Very similar situation to the Kenny Jacket situation last season. Paul Lambert has received backing from them, and now he's under fire and under pressure. Let me know what you think about this situation now. Costa looks like he could stay. Lambert looks like he might stay. We've been linked with players like uh, Steele, the Ipswich goalkeeper whose name I can't pronounce but I'll write here. Tom Lawrence, Tammy Abraham, they've been linked but then they've been reported that those targets are way off the marks. We don't really know who the, who the targets are going to be because they're going to be foreign players, I feel. They're going to be Portuguese George Mendes boys. I just hope that Lambert has the choice on these players and can decide whether he wants to bring them into his squad and there will be players out there that Mendes has got that will be able to enhance the squad. Thank you very much for watching this video today. There'll be another update at some point next week unless something happens drastically quick. If there's a sack in or Costa leaves in the next couple of days I'll do another update then. But thank you very much for watching yet again. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in the Wolves. And I think I'm starting to think about branching out into wider football issues for the start of next season as well. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.